the penalties under the Section 70.30 are any individual owner and vendor who shall violate the provision of this article shall be under the following grounds. A fine of 200 pesos per violation. In case of inability to pay the prescribed penalty, the violator shall render community service such as street or park sweeping, manual flagging or cleaning of canals or steam drainage, business or industrial establishments who shall violate the provisions of this article shall be met the following grounds. First offense, a fine of 500 pesos per violation. Second offense, a fine of 1,000 pesos per violation. Third offense, cancellation or revocation of the business permit within a period of not more than three months at the discretion of the municipal mayor. Problem, which is PWD. Here are the proposed policies we have developed. First, disposal of biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes without local government's consent is prohibited. The citizens of the barangay should take their biodegradable waste in the barangay halls for the barangay officials who are in charge of transforming this waste into humus or organic fertilizer. In terms of the non-biodegradable materials, the citizens of the barangay must be responsible in recycling these materials, especially plastics, and convert this into useful products. Second is dividing non-biodegradable according to its kind. Aside from the two classifications of waste which are the biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials, we still have different kinds of non-biodegradable materials, which are plastics which includes plastic cups, plastic bottles, and plastic bags. Also, styrofoam, bottles, and tin cans. The second policy states that these non-biodegradable materials must be segregated so that the people or the officials in charge will be able to identify easily which are still useful and which are not. The third policy is minimizing plastic usage. This policy Things or propounds that the people are not allowed to use too much plastic products or materials made of plastics. This policy also states that the Barangay Committee prohibits the use of plastic bags. Instead, they implement the use of plastic of paper bags as an alternative. given problem with regard to the proper waste disposal, we formulated an action plan which is divided into five. First in it is encouraging the citizens of a specific place to participate in the established Barangay of the Ladies program. In this plan of action, the Barangay officials, headed by the Barangay captain of a particular place, is responsible for organizing and facilitating the said plan of action. Um, for example, here in Barangay San Pedro, the captain, Barangay Captain Lemosino Mabilangan, together with his Barangay officials, will be the one who will encourage the citizens in this Barangay to make them participate in cleaning their whole community every second Saturday of the month. By means of this, we can obtain a clean surroundings as well as disciplined people or citizens who, are, who practices proper waste disposal. And next is providing containers for convenient waste disposal. All owners of all establishments should are obliged to have their own trash cans or trash bins with two separate groups of wastes. The first one is the biodegradable and the second one is the non-biodegradable materials. The third one is launching of livelihood projects. In the launching of livelihood projects, the municipal will allot a money, um, an amount for the capital of that livelihood program for it to be implemented. And the, the municipal treasurer will be the one who will release their money with the mayor's consent. And by that money, it can be established. And the, um, the primary materials used in the launching of livelihood projects are the 
recyclable material materials such as plastics and uh, used papers. And the uh, profit of these library projects will be used in other municipal programs with the concern of the other projects which include the proper waste management. And the fourth one is conducting community seminars. In these community seminars, the, the municipal will be the one responsible in hosting it and they may invite knowledgeable persons such as the Metro or the Municipal and Environmental National Resources Office and with their great help they can discuss the existing problem and they will be the one who will in, they will be the one who will give the needed information to the public or to the community people. The last one is suggesting that the local government and the school be a single body to eradicate waste management. Um, we all know that a school is a part of the community and a school also has its wastes, and most commonly plastics. And by this, um, we can we can have the solution to this to the problem of waste management by approaching the local government um, to seek their help and to offer the cooperation of the school. And by that, um, for example, the, this school, um, the principal of this school, Mr. Lopreta and Takila, will approach the municipal mayor, Mrs. Edna P. Sanchez, to seek the, the help of each other in pursuing the proper waste disposal and the, the total elimination of the waste of the whole group in doing this project. After accomplishing this project, we realized that we, the citizens of this country, have the greatest role to save our nature. We realized that garbage should not be neglected, and that's one of the major problems that should be given lots of attention. Joining Project Citizen made us realize that if garbage is neglected, Maybe in the future, our country will be filled of waste. Garbage is not only our government's problem, it is ours too. Though the government create a lot of policies, we are still the one to decide if we shall follow it or ignore it. We fail to segregate our waste properly because we lack the discipline, which is the prior factor in order to save our mother we should learn from what we have experienced during the time of Mandoy. Those high floods are caused by the waste which made the canals flood. As students, we can help minimize garbage problems by segregating and recycling materials. We, as citizens, should help the government in solving this problem and dispose our trash properly. Let us start and do something for the sake of Mother Earth. Each and every one of us should strive harder to restore the real beauty of nature as, as this will be revealed not only by others but also ourselves.